We're here with the official Brainiac character breakdown for Injustice 2. Now this was taken from NetherRealm's live stream, but since the game comes out next Tuesday, May 16th, be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the latest on DC's premier fighting game. Let's go to some swing. gameplay and just kind of take a look. Yeah. At, let's just start off with uh, how his normal attacks work. Oh, sure. So like you were saying, he uses his tendrils for the most part. He has a few punches, but you can see his sweep. His down two is probably the best down two in the history of fighting games. Uh, it's pretty good. It's pretty <laughs> yeah. good, yeah. Yeah. Um, even his 4-3, he has a lot of uh, combos that start from very far. Yeah, he can fight you pretty well at mid-range and not right. have to feel like he's, you know, he's have to worry about what you're going to do. He can kind of keep you out. Right. So what, what strings would you say are like some of his like real bread and butter sort of strings you always want to Well, his 4-2 is a very fast advancing high, and the ender's safe, so he'll go all the way, and then he'll end up close or knock you away if it hits. His back one ends in an overhead and has takes up a lot of space and is pretty quick. Uh, he has this forward one, which is a low. He does not have a way to like start a combo other than a, a bounce, but it's you know it's pretty good damage and it knocks you away. And you'll notice the knocking away thing is a very common uh, yeah. error for his attacks. He keeps you game. honest. Right. He can't just keep standing walking around. He can kind of keep throwing that out and make you like have to you know deal with the crowd. His jump attacks uh, have a ton of range. His jump two is basically he's like fully protected himself. Yeah, it's awesome cross up. Yeah. <laughs> so archetype wise, what would you say? I would say he's kind of a a, a footsie character, like a, a mid range space control character. He's okay. he's not the fastest. He doesn't have the best like recovery and stuff, but he outranges you for sure. No mm -hmm. one's really gonna outrange him with their normal attacks. Whiff punishes you pretty well. Yeah, yeah. 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 Whiff punishes you very well. You know, you kind of walk back. You miss anything, you're in a lot of trouble. Right. And then this is all complemented by special moves. Let's just go into them. Sure. Uh, we'll start with his Dox Drill, which is a great like combo ender. Get some damage with it. You can use his down one. His down one's notable for a ton of range, and it's actually a low. Not many down ones are low. Didn't know that. Yeah. I should have known that, right? Um, the meter burn one is actually safe, and you can see on block, they're pushed way back. He wasn't blocking. So he's totally safe. So maybe one of your moves, like I said, his moves don't have the best recovery. You could do something and just do the meter burn docks drill and you're you not get like the out. classic two in one little chip bit at the end there. Right, safe, yeah. Safe chip. And if you do it, you know, and you don't meter burn it, you're going to build a little bit of meter on block. It's, it's always good. You could use a standing three like that. Then he has. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, ultimate anti air. Yeah, <laughs> another great anti air. You know um, he's going to have to have a move like that with those tentacles. Oh, yeah. That's something so cool. Yeah. And he can meter burn it for additional damage and take up even more space. <laughs> <laughs> That's so awesome. Yeah, so, you pretty much you can't jump at him. Like if he if you right. even have an inkling that your opponent's gonna jump, but you're gonna get hosed. So. Right, and that and that totally complements what we do with this playstyle. So he controls the ground and you're like, okay, and what do you do when you're getting out neutral? You start jumping. Right. But doing that against him is incredibly deadly. So he's gonna keep you on the ground where then he excels. Where, where, where are his weaknesses? Where, where does he? Where do you find really good ends with Brainiac? Well, I would say his walk speed, walking in, is not the fastest. His recovery is not the fastest. He's good at whiff punishing, but if if he whiffs an attack, he's in a lot of trouble. He has to kind of use his meter to stay safe. Like otherwise, he's going to be punishable. So he's kind of a, a sort of a high risk character, but he he really regulates you wanting to play. You got to be very, very patient, very methodical, and if you can't match his pace, if you're trying to rush in and he's keeping you away, you're in a lot of trouble. Yeah. He, can, he can catch you slipping a lot with that yeah. range. And yeah. he's able to capitalize it because all of his, a lot of his moves begin from that far away, so it's not like he can't get big punishes off of that. that brain, brain caught you slipping. He, <laughs> he also has this shoulder bar. Nobody? Yep. Very, very fast. Reaches almost across all the screen. And the meter burn one is, again, it's safe. So for a bar meter, he can actually be very safe. And you'll see again, he'll actually push you back. So it's an interesting thing where normally being pushed back is not good for you offensively, but his range is so strong, yeah. it actually helps him. A lot of opponents will, will die because they're basically trying to, they have to keep coming at him. You right. know what I mean? He can keep just whittling you down, hitting you back. Every time you get in, if you, if you don't uh, win the exchange, he's going to knock you full screen again, and you just got to, like, work your way back to him. So, so sure. like, this is what I'd call a why not move, which is nothing bad is going to happen <laughs> just if you do, do it. this move. If it Let's hits, they're full screen, and he goes back to his zoning game, and if it's blocked, they're pushed back and he's safe. So why not? 
Yeah, especially if you kind of like some people have a panic button or they're like get off me move and you're like I'm stuck I don't know what to do if you can do that like you'll at least reset the situation right go again now for him though like you start pushing him closer and closer to the corner you're starting to nullify more of his range too. exactly so right but then you get to the point where Brainiac pushes you into the corner and if he can slowly get to that corner he can just stand there again because you're gonna want to jump out of the corner right. and he can just sit away one you and like wait for that move yeah it's it's very risky let's talk about some more of his, uh, his specials. Well, uh, then I think one of his big, big specials, we talked about mobility, he actually has a dive kick, which is very unusual for a ground-based character, so he can kind of go in the air and he can meter burn it and get a combo. It's very unique too, by based on where you do it and the angle, it, uh, the trajectory kind of adjusts based on how, how high or how low, how low you are. And you'll notice it can also autocorrect, so he can jump over you, he can dive kick over you, Oh, oh, you can't, you and then you'll and actually then always go to where the opponent is. The meter is. burn, yeah, it goes the other way. And right. to complement this, in addition to his jump, he has an air jump where he uses his tendrils, and he'll actually go in the air, and you can control the distance, like this is a far version. Mm -hmm. You can drop, drop down in and do some damage. You can drop down, and he can do his normal attacks from here, and he can actually do the dive kick. So yeah. you can do fun stuff, like you can actually go over them and then dive kick around. Yep. One of the things too is crisscrossing over them, you kind of mix them up, and then you can also kind of immediately dive kick when you land, like hit low, and then immediately go into the you dive kick, the quick very, overhead. Yeah, yeah. Very, very low. It's very punishable, but it's one of those kind of like once you put the fear in your opponent, you can right. you kind of risk it and you can get blown up for it. Yeah, and, and you will have to unblock, commit to the meter burn part, yeah. so you are unsafe, but you know, it's very, very tricky. So he's really a character that will do great on the ground, he'll do great if you try to jump. And then if you can't jump, that frees up him to start yeah. jumping. And that's when he starts going crazy all over the screen, high mobility. And that's when he gets his mix-ups going. Because it's kind of, you can think of it like on the ground, it's very methodical, very slow paced, very keeping you out. But in the air, he goes nuts. That's his offense. He, his ground offense is not really that strong. Like he doesn't have a lot of lows and overheads. He mostly just throws you or just stay safe with this. But in the air, that's when he can mix you up. All the cross up. You know, you mentioned his jump twos are good cross up. Did right. you do his, uh, the dashes? Oh, show the dashes. Dashes? The dash forward and backward. Oh yeah, 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 you can see he covers a ton of distance with his four. His back dash is not the greatest, not but the his four dash is great. Uh, let's talk about his character power. Well, his character power is super interesting. <laughs> yeah, uh, he calls these little beta bombs, um, he, uh, drones right there, he can do a, a ground one and an air one. He, the biggest thing too is um, you can hold it down, so when he can summon it but not use it, so as long, he's, uh, Steve has the button held right now, so while, you, while you're playing you can do all kinds of other combos still holding it. Choose when to let go so you can do a lot of tricky stuff, cross up situations, and, uh, and you really, really mess with your opponent. You can hold it for time. a long time, right. yeah, yeah. Sometimes you play and your opponent will forget you held it, yeah. and then the last minute it'll come out, or you could tricky um, shoot it, cross them up with the, uh, the swing and then the dive kick, let it go. You can throw them before the, the drone will hit them. Or and you, can, and you can hold both the bomb and the straight one. You can also use it rapidly. You don't have to use it for setups. It also can just act as a very fast yeah. projectile. You can do four of them rapidly. So you can hold one for however long, get your mix up, and immediately throw another one after another the one. one. Right. Yeah, but it does have you have a, a, a timer there at the bottom. Yeah, you can like see a, the gauge. bottom has a timer. You can get about four, or you can space them out. Like you can do one, two, a little, little bit more, yeah. one, two. It can be a simple projectile where there's a lot, right. of, uh, a lot of ways to open your opponent. Right. And this can make some of his moves that are already pretty decent even better. Like you see, he has this combo starter, and he can't really get a back three or anything really juicy. So he'll just kind of do a simple combo, nothing fancy. But if he has this out... You're not going to pull this off. Yeah, I saw this. Oh! oh! There you go, in there. Nice. Right. Got so you if you have that. it ready, you can see it hits release it, then get your back three. There's many different setups with this. One thing that Steve and I both had in common is because you do have to hold it, so both of us are like older players, so we both immediately yeah. kind of were like, we, when I play Klaus, we're like, I also play Klaus, so as soon as we play him, <laughs> I immediately go to yeah. like Klaus style, because um, you got to hold the button down yep, uh, yep. to play. So we were both like, oh, per we both were right on the same page, of like, yeah, Klaus, Klaus style. style. Exactly. Immediately, so. 1995. Yeah. It's like a natural we're Looking thing. back. As soon yeah. as you're like, I got to hold this button, all right, that's just how I play it, so. Yep. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, so we also do have, is there anything, oh, good? there's more. Super. The super move. Super. They're super. Yeah. You did the throws. Game last time. The super is boss. Yeah, I like how it came out. I love this shot. 
One of my favorite cinematic shots is, is just is the ship kind of coming through the clouds. Yeah, it's yeah. so ominous and I dark. I remember that in the meeting. I love like, the music. Really wanted cute. to sell that. It was awesome. Oh, it did. It, it, it did a great job. It sells that. well. So uh, I think ultimately he's kind of interesting because he can be a super fast, is that explosive? very mobile, right? Yeah, explosive. very explosive not so play. Fast. A lot of setups, or you can just kind of hold back and outrange everyone. Right. Cool. Let's talk about uh, some. We loaded. We did some gear loadouts. We did. So I'm very excited. You got your you got your sheets. I do. I got it. Okay. Steve writes sheets, which I guess are down it's there. Preparation. But I don't need them this time. We prep. Well, Brainiac would do that. He was as, as much information as possible collected. Then just destroy you. Destroy right. you after. So we'll start off. Well, you can see right here. You like the big shoulder pads, the gold coloring. You picked this out. I did. I like it, I, and I really like the tendril color. That's really cool. Some gold dust to it. Yeah. A little bit. And then character customization. Yeah. So let's start off. He has a harpoon. He'll pull them in. Crush. <laughs> I like that. It's a good combo ender. It's a good full screen check. And the meter burn one, he actually gets a combo. He'll pull them in and not do the beat down, and then he gets a combo. So earlier I was saying if... One of his main weaknesses is on the ground. He's not really like a combo machine other than using his character power. He is with this loadout. So if his air mobility is not particularly strong in a particular matchup and you're having a lot of trouble opening him up because his dive pick's not working, this could be a great tool to use. And then, all, you know, now he is a combo specialist. And let's do a quick little jab like you did after yeah, you grabbed him. Yeah, you can just down. do a down three. <laughs> there you go, full combo. And you got to deal with the wake up. And then we also gave him his tendril shell. And this is actually like a parry or a absorption move. He can hold this down, and then if the opponent attacks, he can electrocute it, and he gets a comp. Oh, that's cool. Can, so, I, can, can I give props to you real quick? Because I know you love props. I love props. You are able to go through training mode uh, menu screens quicker than anyone I've ever seen. Well, yeah, I have memorized. Memorized. Yes. You don't actually read it. Yes. It's down right. twice, left over once. It's it's been been then he records quickly, and then, I yeah. mean, that's amazing. You're like waiting for the game to catch up to you. Right. Whenever it changes, I, I absolutely freak out. Yeah. It triggers me so <laughs> It much. does happen throughout the yeah, development throughout of a game. Throughout development, they streamline yeah, it. Learn learn what you've learned. So, yeah, this would be good for a defensive. Let's say it's uh, you're playing a particular matchup where the keep out is just not working. You're going to have to play up close, and he's not the best at it. you got to have this new defensive option. You and wake it, up attack. it scares the opponent from attacking you, which exactly. is in his benefit, because then he can space your audience. And that's, exactly. So he can actually go to his spacing, because they're going to be afraid. Awesome. So one more loadout? One more loadout. Check your notes. Is it bad that I'm calling you out for checking your notes? It's a little weird. <laughs> so you got all your... It's, what are you talking about? The whole table. It feels like you're yourself. exposing the business. I, <laughs> so, nothing. this is a really cool one. We gave him the ion cannon. He summons a cannon from the ground. Very, very fast. Takes up the whole sky. Looks like he's actually summoning from the sky, but... From his ship. It's from his ship. The skull ship. And if you meet or burn it, you can actually control it. And he gets combos off this. And it puts your opponent in the air, which is like... Right. Trust me, he gets combos. You can actually hit him too, right? <laughs> trust me, trust me, it works. Yeah, look at this. Look at that. Like, just beastly. You can do anything. Yeah. It's, yeah, it just does a chunk of damage, and this really complements the screen control. I mean, it's it's harder to get better screen control than a beam shooting from the sky That's on true. wherever the opponent is. I would say the game's not even out yet, and I still I think you're not even in the top 100 Brainiac. That's probably true. There are people who are theory fighting at home who are better at radio. That's that's, that's okay. probably accurate. What <laughs> can you possibly beat that? <laughs> so then um, we gave him the loadout, which replaces a shoulder barge with a slot. So this is an actual low hitting move. It's super fast, goes full screen, and if you meter burn it, it's an immediate overhead. So it's low overhead, super quick, and this is safe on block like the shoulder, the meter burn is. So it's an, a very good wake of attack, very good full screen check. You can use it for kind of mix-ups if you want. It's pretty hard to block. Real quick, when you say full screen check, for those who don't maybe know what that term means, can I explain that real quick? Well, essentially, a check would be a move where, let's say Superman, you're Superman, and okay. you're kind of doing your lasers and all that. A check would mean, this basically tells you, I'm going to do this, mm -hmm. and you got to look for it. I'm, I'm checking it, man. So you got to it, check it for it. It'll make me slow down my lasers because right. I'm then You're the scared. looking for the slide. It keeps you from playing. So you're game. keeping me out. And if I do this, now you know I'm willing to do that. And then I can start dashing up and throwing you. Or I can go into my my jump attacks and stuff like that. 
it's it's basically letting it's basically an option that I can do at any time that you got to keep your eyes out for. Gotcha. Cool. So those are the Brainiac gear moves we're going to show. He does have some more, but we don't want to show everything. Uh, yeah, and you'll be able to see those very, very soon because the game comes out on Tuesday. Yes. And I'm guessing people will be playing Monday night, and we'll have some fun there. Absolutely. Well, be on. Mike, sir, thank you. Thanks. Mike Portillo, at ZugZug Zug on Twitter. Yeah, two Gs. Two, two Gs. Gs. Twice. Two Gs. Um, thank you.